Welcome back. Our contestants reached the final round, where he's faced with three difficult choices. Behind curtain number one, more alcohol than your body could ever survive. Behind curtain number two, dangerous, mind-altering drugs. And behind curtain number three, we have your family, your friends, and your self-respect. All right, Luke, what's it gonna be? What's it gonna be? What's it gonna be? Luke. Come on, Luke. <laughs> Luke. <laughs> Luke. 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 You want another beer? Okay, kids, here we are at the slavery exhibit. Now, as you can see, the slaves were kidnapped from their homes, chained together for weeks. They would cram them onto these ships in very appalling conditions. Thousands of women and children are being smuggled across the border. Sexual trafficking of children. And as you can see right here, they were treated like animals. They worked all day long for no pay. Sweatshops raided by police. Children forced into slave labor. Some of the slave masters were very cruel. They whipped them and they beat them, as you can see in some of these pictures. So, before moving on, are there any questions? Um, does this still happen today? He said he'd love me forever if I smoke crack with him. You got the money? Okay, yeah, yeah. Why are you asking? He said he'd love me forever if I smoked crack with him. He lied. Find out the truth about crack. Drugfreeworld.org Yeah, short people problems. <laughs> Tasty Secrets Tip 101. Here's today's pop quiz. If you have a recipe that brings your family to the table every time you make it, Tasty Secrets would love to hear from you. It's really, really good. Very good. I'm sure it'll bring my family to the table. And the flavor went all through the potatoes and the chicken. Oh, okay. And good. you can't taste the fish sauce. Like I have teenagers that are lazy and don't want to get out of bed. I can guarantee you the fastest way to get them out of bed is start making Cook bacon. bacon. Tasty Secrets coming soon on the IWIN TV Faith Broadcasting Network station. Cigarette smoking has been a part of my family life before I was born. Many of my parents, sisters, brothers, and even some of their friends died in early grade. One day I heard my mom telling one of her girlfriends how some of my family members died from cancer due to smoking. At the age of 15, I lost my dad by the grave. And a year later, my mom soon joined him. As heavy smokers, they both were taken by cancer. Young, just in their late 30s. What should have went to the grave with them didn't. Instead, it stuck around finishing what it started. What I did know was just how deadly living with smokers would predestinate my life. I'm 18 years old now, and I have lung cancer diagnosed from inhaling secondhand smoke. There's nothing I can do or change what I must face, even though I've never lit, puffed, or took a drag from a cigarette. 
I too have to deal with everyday pain and suffering as though I've smoked all my life. As a child, seeing the painful death of both of my parents, that's one hard pill to swallow. Now, I'm faced with having to deal with what I must encounter as a teen. Oh, how I wish this was all just a dream. But it's not. Cancer lives and breathes within my body. And now, I'm stuck with my inheritance. I guess we all were fooled. I'm Kenneth Roundtree, and today would have been my 21st birthday. If my story can convince you to stop smoking, then maybe this will. Everyone is trying to progress to a better world, but how do we solve the division amongst the people and their beliefs? Music has the power to bring unity within the people. Harp Las Vegas has been using the power of music to bring the faiths together. Cause I am a friend of God. I am a friend of God. You carry my weakness, my sickness, my brokenness all on your shoulders. Satan will try to tear you down, but it's our job as brothers and sisters of God to to keep fighting, to keep sharing that love that God has for each and every one of his children. If the Muslims, Jews, Christians, and the people of any other religion knew their religion well, there would only be one religion, the religion of love and peace and mercy. And in spite of all the naysayers, this is what Christianity should look like. This is what peace looks like. This is what unity looks like, yeah. Really love one another and love God. And I think that's absolutely amazing, it's beautiful. When we think about the world we wanna have, the world we wanna create, I think it looks something like what we have in here today. Our generation can create a society where there are no conflicts. There are three determinations for each of us to start with. I am devoted to a living, thriving, and personal relationship with God, my heavenly parent. I am devoted to integrity, purity, and fidelity for the sake of my future marriage and family. I am devoted to positively impacting the world around me. If you're a veteran, military spouse or service member looking to start a business, VBOC would be your first step into opening that door of entrepreneurship. Are you a veteran, service member, National Guard and Reserve member, or military spouse looking to start, purchase, or grow your business? Veteran-owned businesses generate more than $1 trillion in revenue and hire more than 5 million people every year. Though getting a business up and running is no easy feat, just like in the military, it's not a solo mission. Located throughout the nation, SBA's Veterans Business Outreach Centers are your one-stop shop for business counseling, training, and planning services. Access free tools and resources to empower your entrepreneurship journey, from learning business fundamentals in the Boots to Business and Reboot training courses, to securing financing, and more. Looking for additional support? Your VBOC can also connect you to other SBA resources in your community. If you're ready to turn your business dreams into reality, connect with your local VBOC today. Visit sba.gov slash VBOC. You want the beast that passes all understanding and already heard what's cry before you cry. His ears are focused on you. Supernatural living in his favor. Everything, name them. Give, it, give them a name. And I worship with you in Jesus' name. Have a blessed day. Tune in every morning with Pastor Allen Live for encouragement words. Seek Jesus first on the I Win Faith Podcast. I've sought, I've prayed, I still do not understand. Bless this food before us and we thank you for the fine day ahead of us. You divorce, you know they have mercy on you. Say two times, they looking at you like, oh, it's her fault. Sorry about the door. It must have slipped their minds. It's, it's no problem. Is there a key you can get?
for tomorrow. Sure, we'll get one made for you. Put your trust in God. Our Father, our Father, our Father, our Father, our Father. You're watching the IWN TV Faith Broadcasting Network Station. From the heart of God to life created by God, entertainment His way.